Good morning guys. It is about half past ten in the morning I think. Tires are due to be fitted at eleven so I've just packed up. I said packed up. Um, I have a lot of rubbish that I need to get rid of so there's still like a lot of stuff in the back and there's still a lot of stuff up front. Um, I am finishing my coffee. Um, I'm only about 15 minutes away from the tyre place, so I'm not in a huge rush. Um, but I'm going to drink this, going to go get the new tyre fitted, and then head over to the um, place where I mentioned before, where um, me, Finn, and um, Wondrous Curiosities went and did some washing before we went to that castle place, which was cool. Um, and probably stay there for a couple of days just because it's free power and washing machine and I've got a load of washing to do and they've got places to dry it all out so you know useful um, and toilets and all that sort of stuff um, so long as there is a spot if there isn't then I'll have to find somewhere else so yeah that's gonna happen finish my coffee go get a tire put on um, at Marco's Pneumaticos um, um, I shall update you later if anything happens Hello everybody. Afternoon, it is afternoon. No, it's not 11.59, it's morning still. Roxy is back there. Probably trying to find the bone. I got her a bone. Ignore the rubbish. This is a bone. Um, so, tyre fitted. It's almost identical to the one on the front right, which is weird. So, I now have a new tyre. The van now steers a lot better because he said apparently that that tyre was deformed. Um, which makes sense. It had... Um, steel bands showing um so yeah to be fair i'm glad that the brakes happened when they did because it showed me and it was all on the very inside so unless you really got under or ran your fingers over which would have shredded your fingers but you'd have known i guess i wouldn't have seen it um but the right one's still fine he had a look at that and he was like yeah it's obviously been replaced at some point before that one i've just gone and got um roxy some stuff um a kong which is like a big rubber thing which you put treats in and they've got to try and get to it um i got the strong one um because she does have quite a strong jaw um got her some glucosamine tablets which is on um advice from charlotte my veteran veterinary nurse friend i can never say that word very well i tried to say it in the shop and i just failed um so i've got a year's supply of that i am going to double check with charlotte to make sure that um it's the correct amount because I was told apparently once a day for 40 days and then so the amount I've got is apparently one year I don't know I don't know how that works um but yeah so good for a joint and stuff like that um got her some what else did I get her oh I got her a light up collar thing so that I can actually see her at night time which is always good um she does like to run off but I don't like to stop her because she's a dog um and when we're in really remote places it's like i'll let her be free but if i can have a little light on her that flashes or just lights up then that's good and it's usb rechargeable which is weird um so i've put that on her what else did i get her did i get her anything else oh spot on stuff um so yeah we're gonna head to the spot now hopefully there's free power port um if there is i'll be staying there for a couple of days if not then I'll just have to find somewhere else, but I do need to put a wash on, so again, I might end up staying there just to put a wash on and then move on. Um, but we'll see. So, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I shall see you in a bit. I wanted to show you something. I'm hopefully going to be able to get it on camera. That train, yeah, you should be able to see it. No, you might not be able to see it now. I have been, like, next to that train since I set off. Um, so it is not going very fast. I am only going, well, nearly 60, and that's actually faster than most of the time I've been going here. Uh, only got, uh, what are we at? 25 minutes left. I'm not going far, only 30k. Uh, but I've almost kept in line with that train this entire way. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird driving the van now, uh, because the guy at the tyre shop said that the left front tyre was deformed, which would make sense as to why it's uh, so unevenly worn um, but yeah the van kind of I'm not gonna do it because it's very windy but the van does now steer I'm not gonna say perfectly straight because I've got one fully treaded tire on the left and one partially treaded on the right um, so it's still a little bit off but compared to what it was like this van's like new it's ridiculous and having brand new brakes as well 
combined with a new tyre on what was the worst one, um, I'm pretty chuffed with. So I have saved that tyre place as a tyre place. Yeah, I've saved it as a favourite in Google. Um, and what I'll probably do is once I end up meeting up with Danny and Brandon, as long as but once um, Danny and Brandon come down, I'll probably head down this way again and get the other tyre done. Um, yeah, because it wasn't expensive, 69 euros, next day delivery. If I might be able to ring them up um, and then get it when I'm arriving. It only took him like 20 minutes to do, it was brilliant. Um, and it's really friendly as well. I find a lot of um, people here, um, here in Spain in general to be fair, um, who when they realise you're English, they kind of, they, they like the chance to practice their English. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to try and make a concerted effort to actually start learning more Spanish because I, I feel really ignorant not being able to converse with them and then being able to speak to me in, Span in English. So I'm going to see, I'm going to try and do better. Um, yeah, I might, I might just sort of make myself spend like an hour a day or something learning it for a while. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update. Some road works, just cutting the trees down or something. Um, but yeah, we're not far, so I shall see you when we get there. So Rox has been a good girl recently, so uh, good dogs get big huge bones, sit, there you go, she will enjoy that. So uh, this place is bust, although I have managed to get a new gas bottle, so I now have a full gas bottle which is good. Um, uh, I'm now going to head up to a campsite, um, or I might just do the long drive. I haven't decided yet. I might end up driving over to Valfarta and I'll see what they're doing. Um, but I'll see. I don't know. I'm going to stop this update because I really am not sure what I'm going to be doing. So I'll let you know when I do know. I know where I'm going now. Um, I, well, I see you remember. There's videos which you can look at if you don't. Um, the spot where me and Finn went to that was four euros a night with the creepy house. Um, and power... And near like the old train line sort of place. So I'm an hour and 50 minutes away, which is good. Because that means about two more episodes of my podcast, which is cool. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm heading. Four euros a night. Probably stay there a week. Um, I got cash out early today, so that's good. I'll probably just got plenty of food. Yeah, should be good. So I'm going to head there. So, ciao. These roads are getting a little bit silly. They're very bouncy and just incredibly bumpy, sort of washboardy I guess would be the way of saying it, but it's just, I want to sit in the left hand lane because that side looks a lot smoother, but there's also just enough cars coming to overtake and trucks on that, that it just wouldn't be viable, so I'm kind of just stuck in a really bouncy lane, um, but I've got an hour and seven minutes to go, not too bad, I'm going to hopefully get to where I'm going with enough time to get some work done tonight. Um, but I'll see what the situation is um, and see what needs doing. Um, but yeah, I shall update you later. Oh, it's gone quiet. Oh, a nice bit of road. And uh, oh, oh, and then there we start again. No oh, well. Guys, I don't know if you're going to see that. Yeah, you can see that. There's rain. Oh yeah, that, that's how good my windscreen wipers are. Come on. It actually needs heavier rain for it to work. Kind of glad that I've got a new tyre now, though. That means that it actually works for getting rid of um, water, which is good. I need to make this a bit heavier. Yeah, it's a long way, got 42 minutes left, 50 kilometres. Um, if it's going to be raining, I'm not really going to be showing you a right lot, but I have, we've been here before, um, so there's not really anything new to show you. Um, but yeah, I know, really sorry, I forget the name, but somebody asked me to do a video on my work, um, so I will be doing one of them separately. Um, I'll try and get that filmed over the next couple of days. Um, it'll be the main work I do and also side work. Um, I'll try and do as quick as a video as I can about it just to try and make it not too boring. That's a cool looking Nissan. Um, mountains in the distance though guys. So I'm heading north Spain now again so it's, um, it's getting pretty. Not that southern Spain isn't pretty but I've, I mean I've only been as far south as Madrid which isn't very south in Spain. Um, so yeah, anyway, just thought I'd let you let you know that the weather's turned a little bit meh. I have heard in England that apparently the weather there is um, not very good. Snow and rain and gale force winds, although it's been very windy today. Windsock up there, if you can see that. Uh, big bridges are not my friend today. 
Um, but yeah, uh, I shall let you know when we get there. I should have stayed south, guys. It is getting nasty. There's some um, rainbows, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this is really getting quite bad. So uh, really quite glad I have the new tyre now. I'm only 32k away, so fingers crossed that it doesn't get horrifically bad on the roads. But um, we shall see. It's kind of chucking it down now, so always fun. I know this is basically turning into like Carl the Weatherman, but unless we're getting just like really weird droplets of water, I'm fairly certain that this might turn to snow because there's the can't show you obviously because the, it's not going to focus on it. But there's the odd droplet that kind of uh, looks like snow would if it hit something warm and then melted instantly. So uh, yeah, we might get snowed on. Hello everybody. Um, this might look a bit weird behind me, and you're probably wondering why I have um, like meat and knife out and everything. This is just um, oh, there's people arriving behind me. Camper or the actual owners? Because I can't get hold of the people to pay them. Could be the owners. It's a car. Um, but yeah, this is just um, kind of part of living in a van life and at home to be fair if you um, But yeah, this is What I do for prepping dinners if I have the time um, or one if I can be bothered. That's not squid by the way It's pork. Just realize that little bit there looks a bit like squid um, Yeah, so I've got um, the two trays is that one was pork and that one was chicken um, This is the pork that I've just sliced up. Um, I've already put the chicken in the fridge um and yeah, I do this when I can, um, if I buy meat, because it just makes it convenient as hell. I can just open one of these packs, dump it in a frying pan, and it's ready to go. Um, makes it very convenient, and it means that I can cook dinner in like five minutes max. Um, but yeah, just another a van life hack, really. If you get time every now and again, go through, slice all your meat up, or prep it however you would normally eat it. If you eat it in chunks, put it in chunks, or whatever, you, you get what I mean. Um, and put it all in bags, just freezer bags, these aren't anything fancy, literally just cheap as anything from the shop, and put them in the fridge. I don't have a freezer, but if you do have a freezer, then brilliant, stick them in the freezer, it's really convenient. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd let you know, so yeah, I'm gonna finish off. Well, a little bit of drama, I'd have taken you outside with me, but it's still raining, so I didn't really want the camera to get wet, um, and the neighbour's wife uh, came along, I shouldn't say the neighbour's wife, she's a neighbour as well. Uh, the lady from next door, they're English, um, came along with me to the house because the electricity went off. Um, there's only three vans here and they have four outlets on each post. So realistically they've got capacity for probably, I'd say at least 30 vans. So 10 times what there is now. And the electricity died with three vans here. Now, I'm going to chalk that up to potentially me. Um, using the new electric hot plate, um, which is fair, um, and the heater on, but I mean the heater is a, a low powered heater, but I'm wondering if combined with that it was too much, but then, I don't know, I can't imagine how weak the system is and why wouldn't it just trip mine first, so I don't know, I really don't know, um, but yeah, I, I don't need it anymore anyway, um, I have gas, which is good, I think I mentioned that earlier, I'm not sure. I don't remember if I mentioned gas earlier, but I bought a new gas bottle. Well, this is cheap, it was only like 14 euros, which is a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I had to get a new regulator though, which was 12, so like in total it was like 27 something, because they were 12 something, 14 something. Um, but yeah, so the next time it's only going to cost me 14 euros to completely get a new gas bottle, so I'm not that worried about using the hot plate now, because that was one reason I bought it. Um, but if I'm on a good power connection, there's no point using um, gas if I can use the hot plate. Because uh, we don't pay per unit, or not many places there are. We've been to some where you pay per unit. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd give you an update. That's one issue with living in a van, is you tend to find that power outlets aren't great if you're using them for heating things. Um, which is fair, I have a diesel heater I can use, but I'm assuming it's probably going to have been the hot plate that tipped it, because they were both on at the same time, so that's... You're talking two and a half thousand watts, just from one van. Which again, they should really have it set up so that it trips mine instead of the main one. Um, so that not everybody loses power. Uh, but anyway, that's just how they've set it up. It's a cheap place, so they obviously haven't put too much into the infrastructure of it. Um, but yeah, so we're all good. Power's back on. Everything is still okay. 
um, fridge will be on again cooling which is nice so I'm going to stick some of these Amstel lemon beers in which are lovely it's like um I think like a lemon shandy but the percentage is like two and a half percent so it's a little bit more than shandy um, but it's very refreshing so it's quite nice um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the evening um, Roxy is cleaning herself which is always lovely um, and yeah I'm going to cook some dinner try out this new sauce which I got which is yakisoba sauce um, come on focus on that is it going to focus there uh, we kind of yeah there we go uh, so I'm going to see what that's like um, it's apparently specifically oh apparently yakisoba is like a noodle dish in China or Japan, whichever one it was, I think Japan. Um, so I'm going to try it. I've got stuff to do some fried rice, so I'll do some fried rice tonight and add that. Um, it does say for rice as well, just to clarify. It's, it had like an outer plastic packaging, but I've taken that off because who needs it? Um, but yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do tonight. I'll probably um, throw those bananas away because they don't look too great. Um, but yeah, other than that, all good. All good for the evening, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morrow. Good morning guys, I have seen horses, well now you've seen them to be fair, they're just feeding, Roxy don't scoff at them, you can't even get to them, like, they're ages away, I'd like to see you try and scale that, but yeah, Roxy doing her morning stretches, um, it's a nice day today, it was raining like hell last night, um, well as you'll have seen in the video, um, but yeah, it's a, a very nice day today. Not going to be a huge amount going on, so if I do get anything done um, with a van or anything interesting, then I shall show you. I should really get my hair cut, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be a chill day. Me and Roxy just hanging out today. Um, and yeah, just sort of enjoying. Don't pee on your lead. Just sort of enjoying being quiet for the day, really. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Hello everybody. Roxy is outside. Oh. Chewing her big bone. She's enjoying. I am playing a game, a game called Foundation, which is cool, like a little city building thing. Sorry if that's really loud. I have YouTube on in the background, and today has just been a really nice, chilled day. Um, I'm going to be asking for work tomorrow, so back to regular programming tomorrow, I'm afraid. Um, really haven't done a lot, guys. Um, not everybody does everything all the time in their life, so still a really nice day. A bit windy now, which is why I've mostly had the door shut and I do have the heater on um, but she's enjoying her bone Roxy Roxy hello <laughs> so yeah she, she's enjoying that um, but yeah it's a lovely day and those flowers look really dramatic um, but yeah it's cool if anything happens I shall let you know but if not Roxy, are you going to say bye? No. Well, it's not the end of the video anyway, guys, so... I'll just see you in a bit. Well, this isn't a mini Cooking with Carl episode. They're a little bit loud, actually. Um, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. I've got um, fried rice in there, which is just... long grain rice, which is pre-cooked to like a... probably nearly a week ago now, maybe. Um, with two eggs, um, some fish sauce, and some soy sauce, so... Soy sauce and fish sauce. Focus. Go on. There we go. Whatever. Camera seems to think it's in landscape mode. And just some uh, sliced up chicken breast. And I'm having this with it. You can see I've already had some. I had it another meal a little while ago. But yeah, just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Just sort of what food I'm cooking while I'm in the van. Well, guys, the dinner has been consumed and it was lovely. Just letting Roxy outside and she's actually hiding now. Um, but I got her something which, oh, 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 there you can see. So to help, well not help her, she can see perfectly fine in the dark, but for me to help, to help me see her, Jesus, that was difficult to get out. Um, 
Yeah, she has a little light up collar. So I can now see her when she uh, goes away or goes off in the dark or whatever, which is cool. So yeah, I just thought I'd share. Very handy when you have a black dog to be able to have something that you can see them in the dark with. Well, good morning, folks. It is a beautiful day. I'm trying to find my flip flops. Um, yeah, and it is morning, Roxy. Hello. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It's a bit chilly. Temperature's not really up yet, but it's um, not even lunchtime yet, so um, it's not surprising. But yeah, that sun. Probably just whited out the entire screen. Oh, my hair is all over the place. Well, oh well. Um, yeah, should be getting work through today, hopefully. Um, but if not, just another day chilling and relaxing and... Interesting. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it sounded like a train horn or somebody's very loud car horn or something. Ugh. Oh, this is a bit damp. Roxy's map, just to clarify. Uh, Roxy, hang on, come here. Should we give you some freedom? There you go. So, yeah, glorious day. Wind turbines up there are spinning. So there's obviously some wind high up. Um, so some snow on the caps, which makes sense, I guess. We're not overly warm yet. Um, but yeah, just beautiful day, really. So uh, we shall see what happens. Well, hello, guys. I've got the sun behind me just because it's nice to have on my back. Um, I'm chilling outside. There's the van. Um, got my water bottle. Joined by some horses again. Uh, I said some. Oh yeah, they are all up there. Um, just got told by the guy in that camper van there um, that this area actually has um, vipers, um, snakes, and apparently three out of the five venomous snakes um, in Spain live in this area, which is you can't see a goddamn thing, can you? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll I'll point you up to the horses, give you something different to look at. Um, so apparently, yeah, three out of um, the five venomous snakes in Spain live in this area. So they come out like just across the bank, which is interesting. Um, so kind of glad we haven't encountered them. This is a type of day uh, and time of day as well where they would be coming out. But I can't see any, to be fair. But apparently up where those horses are grazing is where they come out as well. Um, but I don't know. I ain't seen nothing yet. Um, but yeah, I'm just out here. It's a lovely day. Not had any work through, so I'm going to sit out here, listen to some chilled music, and uh, just uh, poodle around on the internet, really, while I'm doing some stuff up to get delivered um, when... Uh, get delivered? Not get delivered to uh, Danny's house, um, so that um, he can bring it down when he comes down. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just chilling, enjoying the sun. Um, rehydrating with my water bottle. Um, and yeah, just kind of, just chilling. Roxy's by my side as well. Roxy? No, you're too interested in the horses. Hello. Yeah, she's good. Well, oh, come on, I just saw the lighting. There we go. Looks like I have a purple beard, but it's just a cloth behind me. Um, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, I'm actually just going to, I'm going to quickly double check that this is correct. Yes, it's fine. This goes up tomorrow morning. Um, I'm just going to be spending the evening chilling. If I get some work through, I get some work through. Um, I haven't been able to do that video um, about doing work because I've not had any while I've been here. Um, I have just kind of been enjoying the time off a bit. Um, Feels like I haven't had any, which is weird given the lifestyle I have, but yeah. Um, Roxy is just outside chilling in the sun, um, as she likes to do. Come on camera, there we go. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get this edited up and uploaded um, so you guys can see it. Um, so yeah, remember if there's anything you wanna see either about this life or um, about me specifically or where I am or anything like that, then um, just put in the comments down below if you wanna see anything. Um, I can endeavor to help. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing and all that stuff. Uh, remember we do have a Patreon um, if you do want to help us. Um, us being me, Danny, Brendan and Finn, not just me. Um, so yeah, you help pay for the coffee and stuff like that which keeps us chugging along. Um, but yeah, so from me and Roxy, I will uh, see you next time. Ciao guys. To myself, what a wonderful world.